Hi, I'm Cheryl Norman, and we're back on Spiritually Intriguing on RazzmatazzTV.com. Um, earlier, we talked about bootlegging music and movies. We talked about rich people not being obligated to help poor people. And we also talked about the point of which someone should kill someone else. I have with me still Melissa and Jim. And uh, my question for you, Jim, is are the police a help or a hindrance to society? Well, with, with the recent things that have gone on with Indiana's legislation about police just being able to walk in your door because some uh, judge said so, mm -hmm. uh, it, it sparked a great deal of controversy. Uh, we've read the story and uh, we're quite frankly appalled by it. Uh, and followed if, it if, all the if, way through. Yeah, followed it all the way through and I don't know if any of you have followed it or not, but uh, it's now, it was passed a law and that it was repealed that the police for any reason whatsoever can just come walking in your door. Really? Yeah, that's a violation right of Magna Carta law. Entry and, by the police, um, yeah, the, it was a really big thing that was going on in the news and uh, we both paid attention to it and yeah. followed it through and watched the legislation go through and then just recently they uh, were tweaking it, making some amendments to it to, to more clearly define that we do what those have the right are. to resist, you know, uh, illegal entry by the police, but they had to clearly outline what right. those rights right. are. It was it was crazy because the day the story broke, there was a big buzz all over the web. Petitions were coming out all over the place. And then, like, the following day, there was a, a sheriff in Schneider said, Yeah, my deputies, anytime they want, are going to walk into anybody's house whenever they want. Oh, really? Uh, mm -hmm. no. So they don't need <laughs> search warrants anymore. They can just come in your house. Well, that, at that point, yeah. that was correct. But yes. as of now, no. It's, it's been more clearly defined. So my belief is that, yeah, the police are necessary. I mean, people are people. You're going to get into confrontation, that kind of stuff. you got to have somebody who has the authority to say enough's enough and then break it up. Mm -hmm. That has to be, that's just society. Mm -hmm. um, do some police get carried away? I think maybe in the heat of the moment, yeah. You know, everybody's human, everybody makes mistakes. Do some police think that they have too much power? Maybe. You know, I mean, I'm of the, the mindset that if everybody was just cool to everybody, we wouldn't need the police. We wouldn't need laws and that kind of stuff, but unfortunately that's not the case. Yeah, well, we, your we, right. We need laws. We need people. People yeah. need to be, you know, and, and it, is, it is for the greater common good. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that all police are bad. I think the majority oh, of no. the police do serve and protect. Absolutely. But yeah. there, I mean, there, there are police everywhere you go where you have some that's a little cocky. to their head. Exactly. For the most part, exactly. have absolutely no problem. Are they necessary? Absolutely. Yes. Do they do their job? Yes. Do they serve well? Yes. Do they, you know, serve and protect? Yes. You know, they're willing to lay down their lives for exactly. me. So I exactly. have no issue with them. But have I come across in my life experience officers who truly believed that they were, you know, two or three steps below a demigod? Oh, absolutely. Completely put the badge on their chest and the belt around their waist and all of a sudden can't touch them, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've come across those plenty of times. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, it, it, there's got to be a balance. You know, unfortunately, you don't hear about the good officer friendly that, you know, spends all his time working with the little kids and until they're teaching killed. them. Until they're killed. Mm -hmm. Right. Or you know, something happens to one of the kids that they've been after, you know, something that breaks the story. Right, you know, the, you unfortunately hear about the bad ones. Right. You know, the cop losing his mind and jumping over a bar and you know, going crazy, whatever. Those are the ones we see. So, you know, sometimes they get a bad rap, 
without it having been earned, but some do earn it. We have to realize that that's what makes news. Yes. And if they talked about Absolutely. all the good that the police do, it wouldn't be news. It wouldn't take that long. Right. Though, right. Sometimes. Right. So it needs something to put in the paper right. and on television. Right. Right. Two sentences of hey, they donated and you know gave exactly. their services here. Exactly. All right, that's it. But you know, two and a half pages of there of was the this you know officer right. and that officer right. crimes block you know bribery exactly. whatever you know. So yeah, no, it's just yeah. what makes good news. And you know, and if you think about it from uh, I guess a math perspective. Probably eighty percent, ninety percent of the population is pretty good. You know, yes. we self police. We don't really have a problem. Let me think about it. There's only like one cop for every thousand citizens. Exactly. exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And of that, we might have one or two percent of a population that are you know deviants and whatnot that don't group. Right. And uh, so that's why that is such a small thing. As long as the big group of us are pretty much doing our thing. You know, don't bother me unless I'm breaking the law. <laughs> that kind of thing. Right, and they respect me if I do. You know, right. yeah, absolutely. So. You know, it, it, for the most part, if a policeman comes to you, what I do? Okay, my bad. Here's my stuff. Right. You know, write me my ticket. We'll hash it out in court. You know, that kind of thing. So yeah, like police are definitely necessary in society. Okay, Melissa, mm -hmm. do you have any life choices that you've regretted making? It's been a long, drawn-out process, um, approximately 13 years. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah, if I had not delayed in the beginning, it was, you know, the, st the silly teenager gets out of high school and, mm -hmm. I'm done with school and I want to, you know, so you take that time off and then the time off gets extended and then, you know, you do the work at McDonald's, you want fries with that, blah, 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 and, right. you know, that only gets you so far and you're like, oh, I need to go back to school, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, starting later than I had wanted, than I should have. Okay. Yeah. That's so, it. where are you now with your college, I'm assuming? Uh, <clears throat> 30 some days until I graduate with my bachelor's. Very good. Yes, yes 30 yeah. days or so. It's taken a very long time, approximately 13 years, to oh, wow. get to the end of that particular road. So, And you're getting a bachelor's in health services administration. Okay. So you're going to be in the hospitals and the clinics? Um, I'm actually not sure yet. For me, it's a personal goal of finishing what I started. Okay. But um, I'm actually kind of leaning maybe towards an entrepreneurial because I have a lot of um, experience in some other fields that I'm contemplating parlaying into a business venture. Okay. You know, the degree, as long as you have the degree, you can do anything. Right. I worked in a department where one of the directors had a degree in music, mm -hmm. and I was in IT services. Mm -hmm. So the sheepskin would get you in right. any door you want to go in. Right. I said I should go and get me a degree in um, dirt or planting or something. Anything. Right. Sure. Yeah. yeah, not horticulture. Just I just call it dirt digging. <laughs> because I'm, I'm serious. If you can take a music degree and go into an IT department right. and be a director, mm -hmm. then I can go learn how to pot plants. Well, that's the degree is the completion for me of something I started. A long time ago, okay. but having lived life in the in the meantime, mm -hmm. you know, it's not what you know; it's who you know. That's so right. that's why it really doesn't make a difference what it says. BS of what? BS of BS. That's right. what I can do. That's right. Okay. That's what right. do you need me to do? And yes, I am capable of doing it. Girl, Jim, do you regret any choices? Uh, yeah, it would probably be an education choice, like what. Uh, Melissa said, um, when I was 18, I enlisted in the military because my mom couldn't afford to send me to college. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
that was my plan. I was going to do the GI Bill. Okay. And I got to boot camp, and I listened to my company commander. He was like, I don't want nobody telling me what to do with my money. Mm -hmm. I was 18 years old, what I know. So I didn't do it. And ever since then, I keep telling myself, I'm going to go back to school, I'm going to go back to school, I'm going to go back to school, and it just never happens. You know, but I could have had it paid for through the GI Bill. I was even offered a second opportunity to get on it. I didn't take it. Well, being a veteran, won't you still get it? Nah, uh, we looked There's into it. Limit. There's a time limit on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. There's a time limit on so the GI Bill. So all you veterans out there. <laughs> <laughs> use it or lose it. Yeah. Right, use it or lose it. It's amazing. I'm the reason everybody fired up this evening I'm exhausted, barely breathing Holding on to what I believe And no matter what, you never take that from me It's taken a very long time, approximately 13 years, to oh, wow. get to the end of that particular road. So, And you are getting a bachelor's in health services administration. Okay. So are you going to be in the hospitals and the clinics? Um, I'm actually not sure yet. For me, it's a personal goal of finishing what I started. Okay. But um, I'm actually kind of leaning maybe towards an entrepreneurial because I have a lot of um, experience in some other fields that I'm contemplating parlaying into a business venture. Okay. You know, the degree, as long as you have the degree, you can do anything. Right. I worked in a department where one of the directors had a degree in music, mm -hmm. and I was in IT services. Mm -hmm. So the sheepskin would get you in right. any door you want to go in. Right. I said I should go and get me a degree in um, dirt or planting or something. Horticulture. Anything. Sure. Right. Sure. Yeah. yeah, not horticulture. Just I just call it dirt digging. <laughs> because I'm, I'm serious. If you can take a music degree and go into an IT department right. and be a director, mm -hmm. then I can go learn how to pot plants. Well, that's the degree is the completion for me of something I started. A long time ago, okay. but having lived life in the brain, in the meantime, mm -hmm. you know, it's not what you know; it's who you know. That's so right. that's why it really doesn't make a difference what it says. 
BS of what? BS of BS. That's right. what I can do. That's right. Okay? That's what right. do you need me to do? And yes, I am capable of doing it. Go. Jim, do you regret any choices? Uh, yeah, it would probably be an education choice, like what uh, Melissa said. Um, when I was 18, I enlisted in the military because my mom couldn't afford to send me to college. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was my plan. I was going to do the GI Bill. Okay. And I got to boot camp and I listened to my company commander. He was like, I don't want nobody telling me what to do with my money. Mm -hmm. I was 18 years old. What did I know? So I didn't do it. And ever since then, I keep telling myself, I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to go back to school. And it just never happens. You know. But I could have had it paid for through the GI Bill. I was even offered a second opportunity to get on it. I didn't take it. Well, being a veteran, won't you still get it? Uh, we looked there's into it. Limit. There's a time limit on it. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. There's a time limit on so the GI Bill. So all you veterans out there. <laughs> use it or lose it. Yeah. Right. Use it or lose it.